Hello everybody, this is Voodoo G and welcome to my video on sound design on a budget. In this video I'm going to be covering how I made my song Silver Lining using only free synthesizers and a couple of free drums. I will be showing you what synthesizers I used and what problems I have encountered using them. With my song Heartfinder I had already proven that it is relatively easy to make a song using only freeware. But I haven't really delved into sound design in that song. I used mostly sample based instruments, most of them were part of complete start. And while using only sample based instruments as well as play synthesizers is certainly a valid way to make music, the ability to create your own sounds using synthesizers is not only a novelty but oftentimes a necessity to make certain types of music. And after all the goal is to create create a virtual music studio for free and a virtual music studio is not complete without a couple of synthesizers. That is why I set out to create a song using only sounds I had created myself in free synthesizers. So let's get started. The main synthesizers I have used in this project were 4 OSC, Helm, T-Force Alpha Plus 2 and Laserbase. 4 OSC is a simple subtractive synthesizer included in Waveform 3. It can do basic sound design very easily, but it starts to struggle if you want to make something more complex. I used it for the pad sounds in the song and a square wave lead after the drop. It is surprisingly powerful, but you'll notice very quickly that it does have its limitations. The main one being a lack of modulation sources. You have three envelopes, one of which is the amp envelope and two LFOs, and that is all. Helm is a free synthesizer by Matt Titel. Despite being very powerful, I used it only for the lead sounds in this song. The bright Supersaw-like lead during the drop is an instance of Helm for example. Helm is very good for making lead sounds because of the way it is designed. It has two main oscillators which can modulate each other and a sub oscillator which can also be mixed in. You have a lot more choice for oscillator waveforms in Helm than you do in 4 OSC. In terms of internal modulation it has three ADSR envelopes, one for amplitude, one for frequency and one that is freely assignable. It also has three freely assignable LFOs with many different shapes to choose from. Lastly it has a very extensive effects unit. You've got a stutter effect, deformant filter, a distortion module, delay and reverb built right into the synthesizer. Its main downside is the limitation of its main filter and the fact that everything has to go through that filter. There is no way to route it around it. By far the most used synthesizer in this project is T-Force Alpha Plus 2. It is a 3 oscillator subtractive synthesizer capable of doing frequency modulation and it has a comprehensive modulation section. Alpha Plus 2 also has a very useful effects tab. The last synthesizer that was used in this song is Native Instruments Laser Bass, which is part of Complete Start. It is a powerful additive synthesizer and it allows for some very precise control over the sound you are creating. Laser bass was exclusively used for the basses in this track, most notably the wobble bass during the drop. Despite being the most advanced out of all of these synthesizers, the fact that it is a monophonic synthesizer really limits how versatile it is. You can only really use it for bass sounds and nothing else. Another big downside of this synthesizer is that it has very few internal modulation sources and those modulation sources cannot be linked to all of its parameters. For all of their strengths and weaknesses, all of these synthesizers are great at doing the one thing they are mainly designed to do. However, if you want to do more complex sounds, you'll soon find the limits of what these synthesizers can do. You have to use them in tandem and you oftentimes have to layer them to create a specific sound. The problem with this is while it is possible to make pretty much every sound if you use enough instances of these synthesizers, if you want to save that sound as a preset it would be very difficult and sharing these types of sounds with your your friends if you want to collaborate is extremely tedious, especially if they are using a different DAW. I mainly recommend these synthesizers to beginners and for people who are looking for easy to use synthesizers to make simple sounds. If you wanted to make something like dubstep or complextro, these synths might prove to be insufficient. I'm sure they can be used for some sounds, but many things will be very difficult to do and very tedious. All of this boils down to the fact that if you want to make a simple song using free synthesizers, you can certainly use these, but if you want to make things that are very complex, you need something much more powerful. Something that is comparable to a massive or a serum. Now if only there was a synthesizer as powerful as Serum that would be available for free that is 64-bit and works on Windows, Mac and Linux. 